Welcome to the 2021 AQHA Versatility Ranch Horse World Championship Show. My name is Kyla Jones, and I'll be your host this week on the Gold Globe Report. This ultimate ranching event combines four shows into one with the AQHA VRH World, AQHA Ranching Heritage Challenge Finals, Cattle Level 1 Championships presented by the Four Sixes Ranch, and National Ranch and Stock Horse Alliance National Championship Show. We're here to bring you all of the best action that ranching has to offer. So sit down, relax, and don't scroll to that next video. Now let's hear from Justin and Karen to see if they can tell us a little bit more about what to expect this week. Thanks, Kyla. We are here at the beautiful Lazy E Arena in Guthrie, Oklahoma, where today we kicked off the 2021 Versatility Ranch Horse World Championship, where over 3,500 entries and 200 first-time exhibitors are competing for top honors and more than 250,000 in cash and prizes. Karen, can you tell us more? Sure, thank you, Justin. We're really excited. This is four events rolled into one. We've got our Versatility Ranch Horse World Championship show. Our AQHA members are competing for world championships in nine divisions, including our new Rookie Amateur and Rookie Youth divisions. Then we've got our National Ranch and Stock Horse Alliance National Championship show. These are our National Ranch Horse Alliance members from across the country. They support the stock horse. AQHA is an alliance partner of NRSHA. Our other six members are here competing for national championships in seven divisions. We've also got our cattle level one championships. We're really excited to have those back here with the VRH World Show. We've got all the cattle classes, having a fun day of competition. And last but not least, our Ranching Heritage Challenge Finals. These are back here with the Lazy E and the VRH World Show, and we're so excited to have these. They're honoring our Ranching Heritage bred horses, and entries are up. And we've got our beautiful horses that showcase our Ranching Heritage breeders, who are the foundation and the cornerstone of this industry. Follow complete coverage courtesy of the journal at aqha.com slash vrhworld. Thanks, Karen and Justin. On Monday night, exhibitors were invited to attend a welcome reception for the record-setting show at the Reliance Arena, hosted by AQHA leadership. Food, drinks, and fellowship were shared, and competitors were able to ask questions and get a lay of the land for the week to come. The Lazy E has a rich history, deeply rooted in the equine industry, from ranching, rodeo, and breeding. We're here with Helen Price, Director of Operations here at the Lazy E Arena, get a little bit of a taste of what the Lazy E has to offer. So when was the Lazy E Arena started and what's a little bit of the history and backstory? Some of the backstory on that is Mr. Gaylord uh, got interested in the steer roping with his friend. Um, we got to talking about the National Finals Rodeo and it was about the time that National Finals Rodeo was being really bid out and Las Vegas was coming hard and fast and it had been in Oklahoma City for all those years and Oklahoma City had grown that event and uh, they thought well we used to need to put the steer roping with the rest of the events so they put the PRCA steer roping in same same week as the finals rodeo the very last year it was ever in Oklahoma City um, in order to host the steer roping we have an extremely huge building <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so this is actually one of the largest indoor arenas, at least in the continental United States, if not the world, correct? I, correct. But there's a lot of different events that go on out here. How does the AQHA VRH World and concurrent events fit in with some of the other things that you'll host? Well, part of what also attracted on the VRH was our outdoor space. One of our largest events is an outdoor expo, and they do shotguns and they do archery and all the others, but the four courses that we have for VRH, particularly this year, absolutely are beautiful, stunning, yes. challenging. Yes. It'll separate a good world show. Yes. It'll set up for great competition, but yeah. Awesome. Yeah, we spent some time out on the trail courses um, earlier this week, and it was really cool to see all of the different obstacles and maneuvers that y'all can facilitate between the water, the logs, and I mean, really, there's, you could dream up all sorts of fun trail courses out there. Oh, yeah. Everybody kind of kissed me around, but we had that ice storm that hit us like in October. I always I said, don't you throw that log away. <laughs> <laughs> You're not throwing that log away. That log came from the ice storm last year. Yes. You should, like, carve it down in the little yeah. trunk down there. Yeah. So 
Last question, mm -hmm. most important one. How would you describe the Lazy Eat Arena to somebody that's viewing online or who's never been here and experienced it for themselves? Well, unlike a lot of other competition buildings, we're relaxed. You've got lots of places to just chill uh, and it's fun. And we're convenient enough that if you really need to go visit a, a chain restaurant, we can find you one. Right. And we awesome. can even find you those unique ones. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you for your time and thank you for sharing a little bit, especially for those who can't join us here. Thank you guys for tuning in and we will see you on our next segment.